Tonight, a special edition of World News Tonight as the nation prepares to mark 20 years since 9-11. A nation set to remember those who were lost, to honor the survivors, the first responders, the courage, the bravery, and a nation that came together after the deadliest terror attack in U.S. history, unfolding at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Nearly 3,000 lives lost, two more victims identified just this week. Tonight, as this country comes together, we hear from those survivors and the first responders and their hope now, 20 years later. And two decades later, one of the central questions, is our country safer? How do we keep this from ever happening again? With the U.S. now out of Afghanistan, what are the terror risks from the Taliban to ISIS-K to remnants of Al-Qaeda still there? And federal authorities here at home who now warn the greatest possible terror threat may come from right here. Martha Raddatz and Pierre Thomas live from the Pentagon and the Justice Department. And the coronavirus tonight, President Biden doubling down on his vaccine mandate that will affect up to 100 million Americans, including federal workers, companies with 100 workers or more, and health care workers, too. Mr. Rachel president, Scott asking the president happen? about Republicans now threatening to sue. The president's response tonight. The U.S. now reporting about 140,000 new cases a day and more than 1,100 COVID deaths every 24 hours. And tonight, there is also major news from the CDC. The new studies on vaccine efficacy, which vaccine performs best at keeping people out of the hospital, and what the results could mean for boosters and when. Dr. Jha is standing by to answer your question tonight. Overseas this evening, a second charter flight now leaving Afghanistan. American citizens among the passengers. Where things stand tonight on efforts to get the remaining Americans out. And the Supreme Court justice now blasting the court's refusal to block that new Texas law banning most abortions in that state. What Justice Breyer says could happen next. A special edition of World News Tonight begins now. From ABC News, this is a special edition of World News Tonight with David Muir, reporting tonight from the World Trade Center in New York. And good evening tonight from Ground Zero in Lower Manhattan. We are here as the nation prepares to mark 20 years since 9-11, the deadliest terror attack on this country. Tonight here, we remember the lives lost. We recognize the survivors, the weight they've carried all these years. And of course, we honor the heroes, the first responders and their bravery. You can, of course, see the reflecting...